In today's video, I'll be cooking salmon cabbage soup. Welcome to my channel, Cook with Rina. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I am boiling water. So you'll be wondering, this doesn't seem to be a soup, right? But mm, because usually I cook one dish plus a staple like rice, I do not need so many pots. So if I cook soup, I wouldn't be frying. So that is why I use this pan here uh, for my soup. Okay, so what I am doing is this is uh, today I'm going to cook a uh, salmon uh, cabbage soup. Alright, so what I'm doing is I have started. So I, uh, I'm heating up the water and while I'm doing so, I'll be preparing the vegetables and so on. Alright, so I'll be cutting the potatoes, the carrots, the cabbage, as well as the mushrooms. Okay, and once I'm done, I'll put it into this uh, water here and let them boil together for the soup. Alright, so I like my cabbage to be um, soft, so I'll add them in first. Okay, then I'll continue with cutting the potatoes and the mushrooms and so on. Basically, right, I don't really follow any order. Once it is like cooked, I will just add it in because at the end of the day, I just want it to be cooked inside the soup for a, a long enough time so that all the fragrance go to the soup and the food is soft enough. Okay, so let me continue cutting. Right, so I finished cutting the carrots and uh, the mushrooms, so I'll add them in. Okay. okay, so yep, yeah, so next I'm going to add tofu as well as salmon as well as tofu, salmon and eggs. Okay, and then just let it cook. Okay, so uh push it in so that it gets cooked more easily. Okay, uh for me cutting vegetables is the one that takes the most amount of time or the cutting portion. Okay, but for this soup is very uh, for giving whether you add it later or earlier so uh, yeah okay. okay so while these vegetables are still cooking I'm going to prepare the tofu as well as the um, egg for the summer I bought salmon strips so I can just simply put it in so uh, for summer I won't put it so soon yet because they get uh, they are more yummy they are more tender when I put it uh where I don't cook it so long. Alright. Okay. Time for tofu. Okay. Oops, this is too big. Just cut it a bit smaller. Next, I will add the eggs. Okay, it's the eggs time. So let me add some eggs. So basically, pour the eggs in. Okay, if you do not want to weigh some of the remains of the eggs in the bowl, right, what you can do is to add some water and then wash it. Okay, so this is what I did. I add some water to wash out some of the egg white that didn't come out. Okay, now that we are here, I will stir so that the egg is well mixed. Okay, some people like to add it at the end. Um, I'm just a bit lazy, I guess. I like to do it at the start. Okay, so that I can just walk off later on and do other things. Okay. 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 Alright, so now this is done. What I'll do next is to add in the salmon. So I bought uh, salmon and salmon strips, so it's very easy to handle. Okay, so basically just add the salmon in. Okay, the salmon also gives the soup the taste because uh, that's the only meat that we have in this soup. Okay, I like to put the salmon at the top because it's quite easy for the salmon to get cooked. So uh, I like the potatoes and the rest.
All right, so once uh, I've put in all the food, what I need to do is just to wait. So usually I will let it cook for around half an hour so that um, all the vegetables like the potatoes, the cabbage and the carrots are soft and it is like there's a lot of taste inside. Of course, uh, later on when we are done, I'll add some seasoning. Usually I will add um, soy sauce as well as some uh, fish sauce. Okay. Alright, so this is after around uh, 5 minutes actually. And you notice that the fish is actually cooked, right? Okay, and the potatoes are a bit, are still a bit hard. Okay, so I'll stir it around. Okay, so at this point, I also start to uh, put in the seasoning. So I usually use very simple seasoning. Okay, one of it is basically, one of it is actually this, um, this, okay, which is the soya sauce. Okay, so I'll add some. Okay, now. Okay, what I like about soya sauce is when you run out of bread, okay, uh, sorry, when, when you have no other seasoning, it can be used to season almost everything. So one of my favorite things is soya sauce, okay. I, I believe most of us have a lot of soya sauce at home because of this reason. Okay, and also uh, the bottle that I bought is actually like, just like one bar plus. I thought it was cheap, so yeah. That's why it is, the bottle is beautiful and it tastes good. So I've been using that ever since I realized, hey, I can get that at that price. Okay, next I'm going to add a bit of fish sauce. So I'm using, uh, I'm going to add, so I'm going to add fish sauce now. So this is the fish sauce that I do, I get. So I'm going to add like maybe enough, two drops. Okay, then I'm going to stir. Okay. At the same time, I'm going to cut the meat into smaller pieces. Okay. The reason is because my kids don't really like salmon or fish. Okay, so uh, I usually try to make it so small that they don't realize that they're eating salmon. <laughs> So now let's wait maybe for around 15 more minutes for this to cook. Alright, so after another 15 minutes, this is how the uh, salmon cabbage soup looks like. There's something I do, I usually uh, cook once and um, eat the whole thing. So what I do is, uh, I do have this thermal pot, so what it does is you can cook the food in. Okay, after you have finished preparing lunch and it will still be hot by dinner time so you do not need to microwave and it continues to cook so for example the potatoes right will become even softer by dinner time okay so i'm going to put the dinner uh the soup that i've already prepared into this um thermal pot here for which will be for dinner and the rest will be for lunch all right so this is dinner this is going to be dinner so i'm going to cover it Okay, so, and close it. Alright, so I also got ready another thermal pot which I use for rice, okay, because um, I didn't have enough space to put the rice inside, okay, and I wanted them separately. So what you need to do is just to cap it and close it, okay? Uh, I need to cap it nicely, so, so, and make sure that it is tight. So this is my rice and soup, which is for dinner. Okay, and this is my daughter's lunch and my lunch. So my lunch, I also added rice. But for my daughter, um, I prefer her to have no rice for lunch. See you. Like and subscribe.